Vishnu Jain, after this report is deliberated upon in a court of law, is your next step, sir, to demand an ASI survey also of that Wuzu area, that Wuzu Khana, where you insist, the Hindu side insists that it's not a fountain but a holy shivling. Is that your next step, sir? Yes, it was my categorical demand before the District Court of Varanasi and before the Allahabad High Court. The Allahabad High Court, after hearing me in detail length on 12th of May 2023, passed an order directing the ASI survey of the Wazoo tank. Let me tell you, Gaurav, the first order in this case was of ASI survey of the Wazoo tank and this order was passed on 12th of May. Against this order, the Anjuman went to the Supreme Court, who was who was calling this shivling as fountain, and they said that no ASI investigation must not be done of this Vazu tank. And the Supreme Court stayed the order on 19th of May. I am hopeful that when the matter will come up for hearing in January, we'll get the stay vacated, and this Vazu tank will also be investigated by the ASI. Okay, Varis Patan, if the ASI survey does indicate the existence of a temple that predates the mosque. Sir, isn't it in the interest of principles of natural justice be followed that a scientific survey of the shivling also be carried out and it establishes whether it was a fountain as the Muslim side insists or a holy shivling, a swayambhu shivling as the Hindus insist? Well, this will be taking the country back to the Babri era, which which the uh, parliament wanted to prevent. That is why the places of worship in 1991 came into existence. Nobody is saying that. Why don't you follow that? It's a rule. It's a law passed by the parliament. If you don't follow that, what is the use of such kind of thing? And we have already lost our one mosque. Our masjid shahid kar diya 6 December 1992 ko dhoke se. So we don't want our other mosques to go. Now they won't stop here. They say Kashi, Mathura, 3000 mosques. But these are all against the places of worship. 1992 is total violation. And I am sure and I feel that the masjid committee will definitely contest and go in appeal against the orders. And it will be challenge. Okay. Okay. Vishnu Jain, please clarify this aspect of places of worship act that's repeatedly raised. The Muslim side insists. 15th August 1947, the nature of the place was a mosque, whether at Kashi or a Mathura. Varis Pathan insists that they've lost Ayodhya, they will not lose another, another mosque, whether it's at Mathura or at Kashi. Yes. You are absolutely right. It is my categorical stand that in Kashi and Mathura, in both the cases, the places of worship act is in favor of the Hindus. In both the places, the religious character of that place and the premise in question was of a Hindu temple. And after 1947, in violation of section 3, all those premises are being used as a mosque and illegal encroachment has been done. Okay, okay. You know, Varis Pathan, you raised the issue of Ayodhya, then you talk about Mathura and Kashi. Now, as far as Ayodhya, Mathura and Kashi are concerned, there are civilizational roots of the Sanatan Dharm here. Sir, do the Muslims have a strong civilizational root to either Ayodhya or Mathura or Kashi, perhaps like, like Mecca or other religious uh, places? Well, Gaurav, my faith is also there. My Iman says, once a masjid, always a masjid. Ek bar jaha masjid tamil ho gai, wakta kayamat tak masjid hi rahegi. This is what we say. And this is what happens to us. We were cheated during the Babri issue. Our masjid was demolished on 6 December. By cheating, they filed an affidavit before the Honorable Court. Nobody believed that. Nobody now saying about that. Why the Congress opened the locks? Why? Then they say that the murti is prakat ho gai. And then you file an affidavit and on 6 December, you, me, everybody saw it on the 6 December is the black day in the democracy of our country. Okay. We say so that. So we don't want to lose our other masjids. That is why we say that a masjid committee will definitely challenge these orders which are kept passed for service. No, but I, I want to understand from you, Varis Padan, is an amicable solution possible or is the legal route the only way forward? Because for Hindus... Ayodhya, Mathura and Kashi have strong civilizational roots. Is an amicable solution possible, sir? 
So why should we only be made to resolve the situation amicably when already we have settled, when we already Babri Masjid is given to them? When they have already demolished the Babri Masjid, why only we should be? So now they must come for amicable settlement and they must say that yes, we follow the places of worship act and we don't want a survey. Let the place be there as it is where it is. It is a mosque, it is a mosque, let it be there as it is. So this should be from both the sides. No, we have already lost one mosque. Now, when will this end? When will this end, Gaurav? I'm asking a simple question to you. This will be a never-ending story that there was no use for places of worship. Had there been the Babri Masjid on 6 de December standing as it is, the judgment of the Honorable Supreme Court would have been totally different because they unanimously said there is the, no temple were destroyed and no mosque was built on a destroyed temple. They unanimously said that no Murti Prakat, but it was only under Article 142 that the Supreme Court passed an order. So this time, no. We will fight the case, okay. let the constitution prevail, let the places of worship of 1991 prevail and, and I feel and I am sure that the Supreme Court will definitely look into it and order will be passed in our favor this time. Vishnu Shankar Jain, you heard Varis Pathan. Is an amicable resolution possible through dialogue or are courts the only way forward given how strong sentiments are on both sides, sir? I ask you a question, Gaurav, and I ask myself a question. If someone enters into my house, my ancestral property, he captures all the 10 rooms of that house. And today when I want that, uh, that illegal trespasser, that uh, illegal encroacher to get out of my house, people ask me that why don't you do a compromise with the illegal trespasser and an encroacher. Same are the facts of this case. These both the properties are properties of the deity. First of all, I am no one to enter into a compromise and for that matter no person uh, of any member or any section of the society can enter into such a compromise, point number one. Point number two is that I am against this principle of compromise okay. because this is the land of the deity and we are not re ready to sacrifice even a single inch of land. Fair enough, I will let that be the last part and last word on this part of the show. Courts of law is where both sides are and we leave it to the majesty of our judiciary to decide on this issue.